morning. We're here today with Melissa Sandusky from Circles on the Square. We're going to find out a little bit about the store and about Melissa herself and um, get the secret behind the donuts. Melissa, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. So you were just sharing, um, we were talking about the space and how lively the square is and the vibrancy. How did you end up here? How did you end up with a donut store in Medina, Ohio? The donut shop was my husband's idea. Okay. It was he just, it was literally like a light bulb that went off and he said, donuts. He called me up and said, donuts. I said, what do you mean donuts? He goes, <laughs> like, yes, we're going to open like up one. a, we're going to open up a donut shop. And I said, you're, you're not, I was like, you're nuts. You're I was nuts. like, we don't know anything about donuts. Yeah. So, um, I just thought it would be a phase that he would, you know, it would go away after about a week. And, and, and so it, it didn't go away. He just kept coming. He would, he would every weekend. He would make donuts, and they would fail every weekend. And yeah. I just sat there and watched him, really. And and um, and finally, he he did some more research, and then okay. um, it just never the plan never went away. And then so we said, okay, the Medina Square would be a great place. Yeah. So we were just for for two years we we're waiting for a spot to open oh, up. Wow. Okay. And so when I saw that a business. And here actually was going out of business. We called right away, and um, Tracy Rose. Mm -hmm. She said, "Okay, I have five people on their way with checks. Whoever gets here first gets it." Oh and gosh. I rushed up here to, with the check, and that's how we got it. So, what what was Scott doing during the day, or, or what was his previous job that he had time to think about the donuts? He was. Um, he was working for Weaver Popcorn out in Indiana. So okay. he was living out in Indiana. We thought we were going to be making the move out to Indiana. And um, he was very unhappy out there because yeah. it's not Medina. So um, he, he was just in his apartment that he lived out there for nine months. And it just literally was like a light bulb. He just was donuts. Medina doesn't. So what, Medina what were you doing? When, when he called and said this, what were you doing? Like, what was your job at that time? I was working for Medina City Schools okay. and um, here with our two boys taking care of things here and working for Medina City Schools and uh, that's so I was so when he called me up I was like yeah no that <laughs> I love it I love it are you originally from Medina no I we have been here going on 19 years oh wow okay okay what yeah. brought you here we both we met at college. We both went to Kent State, and um, we came to a wedding. I think one time at Rustic Hills when we were still in college, and sure. and so I I was like this is you know really pretty. And so when we were in college finishing up, we got engaged. We were looking to buy a house, and so he was like, "Where do you want to look?" And I said, "You know what? I really like Medina." We went there for that wedding. Oh, that's We've cool. been here ever since. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So you have two kids. Two boys. Two boys. And how old are they? Fifteen. And one will be 12 on Wednesday. Yeah. What do they think about this whole donut business? Oh, they love it. Do Especially they? my 15-year-old. Yeah, he calls himself the donut boy. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> do they help you come up with the different flavors? Do you guys like brainstorm as a family over dinner? We what have. About this? We have. Yeah. But most of the donut flavors, the girls that work here, they come up with okay. by accident or things that we see that we can turn into a donut. Yeah. Yeah. What um, I love some of the donuts that you post on Facebook. Your, your posts are great. What are some of the crazy flavors? Like, what's the one that you kind of thought, hmm, we'll see? Well, maple bacon is probably our craziest, but that's our number one seller. Is it really? Every single day, maple bacon. I, um, I gotta say, I, I don't get that trend. I like maple, I like bacon, but it's. But people love it. People do love it. That's hysterical. We have people come in and get a dozen maple bacon donuts. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's our number one every day. Um, probably. The one I liked the most was a we did a root beer float, and that was really oh, good. Oh, okay. So how many different flavors total do you guys do, or have you done? Do you think? Oh, there's probably over fifty. Really? Fifty some. Oh my we gosh. change them. We change for the most part. Like forty of them stay the same, and then ten we change out with the season. And yeah. When you go on family vacations, whenever you have time, do you like visit donut shops yeah, around the country? Yeah, we do. To kind of scope out the competition. Well, we just like to try other people's donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Do you say, "Hey, I'm a donut person too"? Yeah. Well, I just go That's in. I'll start. either send my son in there, go get some donuts, and then we try them out just to see. And you sit in the car like. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I like going into other people's donut shops just to see the atmosphere and you know yeah. decorations and stuff like that. I think it's now, fun. Now you won you won a couple awards for your product, haven't you? Yeah. Tell me about that. So we. Uh, we went to the um, the Donut Fest in 2018. We were only in business about four months, so and that it was, was up in Cleveland, yep. right? Yeah, Cleveland Donut Fest. Um, 
so we went, tickets sold out. Tickets were already sold out by the time we, we got invited. We got invited about a week before the Donut Fest. So we did not know what we were doing. Sure. And um, surprisingly, we came away with a first, we, over, the best donut overall and then the best cake donut, which was, I don't know, we just couldn't believe it. That's and awesome. then we went back this year. This time we knew a little bit what we were you know, doing and uh, we walked away with a uh, crowd favorite trophy. Okay. So we're okay. gaining we're gaining some popularity. How m I've never heard of the Donut Fest other than through you guys. How many donut businesses, donut shops were there? This year there was ten. Last year okay. there was twelve. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah. What what is it I know you said you were in town for a wedding. What is it about this town that you love? What made you say, right I wanna live here? Right here. Right here, the square. Do you have a favorite building on the square? Um no, I think the gazebo and just the atmosphere and, yeah. and everybody's so friendly here. It's it's um, I've now officially been here longer than I did at my you know town where I grew up. I just I just love Medina. Oh, that's cool. Love all the people here. What do you do in your downtime, or or is it all about the donuts all the time? Um, my boys keep me busy. Right now it's lacrosse season, so we yeah. my boys play lacrosse. So I am at a field. Finally here I go. So that right now springtime is lacrosse season, so I'm um that's what I'm doing. Do you so when you go to the games, do they expect you to open the trunk and bring out the boxes of donuts? Some do, yeah. And I do. <laughs> Where do you see the business going? What do you what are your dreams for circles on the square? Well, um eventually we'd like to open up another location. Really? Okay. Um expand there, but it's gotta be the right it's gotta be the right location. Yeah. We have a lot of people that ask us to come to their area, um, but, but you know, not yet. Well, I'm not ready yet. Not ready yet, sure. Not ready, yeah. You're, um, I know you have wonderful employees here. How, how are they part of the business? Like, what do they contribute? How, how are they folded into Circles on the Square? Oh, we have, well, we have a small staff, but they are, I mean, it's like a family here. Um, you know, especially we have, you know, for the most part on the weekends, we mm -hmm. have like three or four staff here and so it's it's literally like a we're like a donut family we're you know we know all about what the girls that you know at school and their activities and you know what they're studying in school and you know yeah we we're we're very involved in you know knowing what that's really they, cool. what they do outside sure. of the donut shop how, how long from from putting the dough in the machine until it's baked cooked frosted how what is how long does that take um, it takes about 10 minutes to make the dough. Um, it takes somewhere between 25 minutes to run a batch of dough through the machine. Yeah. And then um, it doesn't take very long to make. We got some fast donut makers. It doesn't take very long to even make a dozen donuts. It takes minutes. Well, I think what's so cool is, I mean, you're mass producing, but you're not. It's, it's one donut at a time. You're mm -hmm. not doing these massive vats no, of donuts. No, and it's made to order. Okay. They're all made to order, so if somebody wants, hey, can I have less sprinkles? Can I have this? We can do all that because they're all they're all fresh. They're all made to order. Yeah. Yeah. We have some, you know, people want to put raspberry on coconut. Sure, we could do that. <laughs> so, do you ever see your son? Was it Donut Boy? Is that what donut he Boy. Himself? So, is he is he gonna have a cape and be like the mascot yeah. and run up and down the sidewalk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's that's... gonna work here this summer. Is he? Yeah. So he says he's gonna work here this summer. Okay. So he's, he's gonna be making the donuts or frosting them or all of them. I don't know. We'll see. My younger see one. Goes. My younger one. He he um, he likes to come and make donuts and then take them down to other businesses and drop donuts off. He's done that oh, before. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like he'll take donuts down to you know Courthouse Pizza or you know Candy Apple or you know he likes making little donuts and taking little care packages. Mm, a pizza donut. Yeah. So what? Um, so tell me a little bit more about your background. What you went to Kent State? What were you studying there? Social work. Okay. The people skills. Yeah. I love meeting with the regulars that come in here. Mm -hmm. We we have a lot of regulars that come in here all the time. There, I mean, there's the kids that come in here. The, um, the so this is like the cheers of donut places. Yes. When they hit the yes. door, you know, powder donut, extra coconut. Yep. Absolutely. That's yeah, awesome. and we have, I mean, they come in all the time, and I think, you know, so I love, and that's what we love about it the most is meeting with the people, the regulars that come in here, knowing them, yeah. you know, the little kids, and knowing what they get, and it's just fun. That is really cool. Yeah. We are like the unofficial, official 
pit stop after dental, the dentist office. <laughs> or really? little kids going to Hershey, yeah. they get a haircut, and then if they're good, they come here. Oh. So they walk in with a sucker from Hershey, and then they get a donut, and then they have this awesome haircut. Yeah. But yeah, we have people that, I mean, honestly, when I say the regulars that we have, we have a man, he comes here six days a week. Yeah. He started, he was like one of the people that uh, was at the fire fire station over there. Okay. So he comes here all the time. He's here, he's here literally five, six days a week. His oh, wow. wife does not know we exist. But he just gets two plain donuts. But he comes here every day, you know, while the weekends, whatever. We, sure. we get his order ready. That's we have awesome. one little boy. His, um, his name is Sully. He ropes babysitters, friends, grandparents, aunts uh, to bring him here really? to get a donut. Yeah, he re so we always recognize him. We don't always recognize the people. <laughs> I'll be good if you get me a donut. Yeah. Our hours are always ish at the end. So like, sure. you know, like during the week we close at four ish because if somebody comes and buys all the donuts at 10 minutes to four, you're out. Yeah, I'm not gonna make another batch. Um, but you know, if somebody comes and buys out all the donuts at three, then I'll make more. Sure. You know, so it's just all based on the flow and. It's all the ish. 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 It's always ish. Ish is a good word to use. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for sitting down and <laughs> talking you. with us today and telling us all about services on the square. Okay. We appreciate it. Thank you.